Hi guys, my name is Dan and welcome to the channel. Or should I say welcome back to the channel? So many of you are responding to these uh, uh, guides and uh, leaving comments, uh, liking the videos, which makes me so happy that it's uh, actually helping you uh, become a better and faster driver in our beloved Porsche. So, uh, what do we have today? Today we have Suzuka. It's uh, one of my favorite tracks. It's a uh, really uh, wonderful track to be racing on. Uh, has a nice flow. But luckily for us, uh, the car we all like is uh, really competitive and good on this track. For all of you that missed uh, other lab guides, uh, please, there is a link in this video description and uh, you will find everything uh, that's important for the Porsche itself in the episode 1 and then uh, for each uh, track there is a guide, I'm uh, trying to make them uh, once a week uh, now and uh, I hope you will find the track you uh, need a guide for. Uh, so let's not waste any more time and let's begin. And uh, here we go. So you know the drill. I'm going to drive very slowly so we can uh, catch all the details. Uh, long straight. You're here. Fully accelerating. And then when you see that uh, tarmac on the left hand side around here, you start to uh, decelerate. So fifth gear, fourth gear, third gear. And then you want to be as much on the left then go on the inside when that curve bends i accelerate fully using those curves on the left you're here in a fourth gear you want to hit this apex drive on these curves but don't go over them then downshift to third gear modulate the throttle so you can maybe go a bit faster then tap the brakes then again modulate the throttle so here you want to be fast and then again and then again, uh, uh, slowing down, uh, stay mid corner so you get the better entry here. Uh, stay on the inside and as soon as these uh, curves are, are gone, you fully accelerate all the way to fourth gear, fifth gear, and then midway between 150, 70 meet, uh, five meters uh, mark, you uh, downshift to fourth, go here on the uh, left, and then downshift to second, let the car just slide on the inside this is again full throttle you want to be left and then go here on the right a uh, few meters after those curbs you brake go in the first gear don't choke the car and on the exit just let it uh, slide on the outside again full throttle zone going all the way to fifth gear you want to be close here on the right and when you see those green marks you uh, downshift to third gear let the car go on the right second gear and now be patient 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 until you see those curves end and then you uh, fully accelerate to third gear again this is a full throttle zone you will be going here in the sixth gear uh, when you see that uh, 50 mark you uh, lift aim for the apex and then again full throttle so before that 100 meter mark there is a patch it's a heavy braking zone you brake there hard and go all the way to first gear hit one apex then the second one and once you exit the chicane it's again full full throttle okay let's just now focus on how everything connects together so the line braking points and uh, everything else
And the one last thing, of course, the setup. And the last but not least, but I think in this case also very important, something completely different this time, the setup. Uh, so the tires, you know, you have to do it yourself, 3-4 laps until you see if they reach 27.5 uh, to 28 uh, uh, PSI. Uh, toe is uh, minus 0 0.4, the rear one is uh, 0 flat. Uh, uh, caster is at 8, maybe maybe a little bit less, uh, maybe a little bit more. That's something you have to see for yourself. But for me, 8 is like a perfect for this track. Uh, camber, so the maximum tilt, uh, both front and the rear. Uh, the next thing uh, is very important. So you have a really low right height uh, at uh, the back. And of course, at the front, it's uh, the lowest possible. Uh, rear wing at the maximum, you really need that uh, rear downforce and brake ducts a little bit uh, higher or more open this time. Uh, the next thing which uh, will make the biggest difference and you will notice it right away it's very soft suspension unlike the previous guides that we had uh, you will see how much it helps so uh, anti-roll bar at the front one and the rear is at uh, three uh, bump stop range a little bit higher uh, uh, for the both uh, front and the rear also the wheel rate is also softer for the front and the rear so really really soft suspension that just absorbs every uh, uh, direction change and uh, the balance uh, of the car uh, uh, shifting and the brake bias as usual very aggressive uh, electronics uh, uh, so far it's nothing uh, nothing has changed uh, so both uh, traction control settings at three engine map at eight if it's qualifying in a short race maybe for a longer race it's better uh, to have it on four abs on three and for the dampers uh, this is something uh, i got from a friend so he helped me a little bit uh, maybe you can copy just uh, what i did uh, otherwise uh, as i've said uh, either you know how to use motec up and to do it yourself or you uh, just uh, uh, use the aggressive preset which is also uh, also very very good and in the end, uh, what to say, I'm really happy that you guys find this video interesting and uh, helpful. Uh, I will keep uh, making them in the future. Uh, if you have uh, some other questions, please leave a comment, hit the like button and uh, of course subscribe to the channel. Uh, guys, uh, until the next week and the next video guide, uh, thank you and see you. Bye!